This is the story of how I went from flat broke, living paycheck to paycheck, to literally buying food with food stamps, to now running multiple companies, and the main one doing over 40k a month. For this story, I had to take it all the way back to my childhood. Up until I was about 12, I had it super nice. Money, big house, great people, and then everything crashed for my family and we went flat broke. And I mean broke. At one point we were almost homeless and this went on for about three years until things began to get better again. Then after the age of 15, the money for my family started coming back in, but I think that perspective of how nice life can be and how fast it can all be taken away was an extremely important lesson for me. And it changed something inside of me that I don't completely understand yet. But I do think when you understand how fragile money in a job can be, it changes the paradigm of believing that a job is the answer for you. But this experience gave me the drive and ambition to head down the path I wanted to go down. And somewhere down that path in my early teenage years, I realized that it was entrepreneurship. And during my high school years, I did exactly that. I did the classic things, like I bought a gumball machine, I started a lawn care company, and basically I just wanted any way to make the next buck fast. Never really growing a company or outsourcing any of the work. I was doing everything myself. And then I graduated high school and I did what every person does in the middle class. I went to college simply because it's what everyone else thought I should do, so I did that. And I wish I had listened to my gut when I almost dropped out after my first semester, but instead I stayed for four and a half years. Yes, a victory lap, at least a half victory lap. These four and a half years, I just did college. I got a job serving at Outback Steakhouse and then some job at the place called the Ruby Stand that served hot dogs to cars. And no, I was not on rollerblades. And yes, I was one of the first men ever to do that job there. Hooray, equality. But at the end of the day, college was fun. It's a four year vacation but with a fat check at the end of it. After college, I graduated. I had started to interview for jobs and realized that I was not cut out for the nine to five life. And that if I took one of these jobs, that I may never become an entrepreneur. So I said fuck it and realized that if I was to pursue my dreams of entrepreneurship, it was now or never. And that's when I stumbled on the man, Iman Gazi, back when he was small, by the way, like 20,000 subscribers or something, you know, small. But I watched some of his videos and decided that I wanted to start a uh, digital advertising agency doing Facebook ads. But if you thought college was the time in your life that you're broke, like again, because it's after college when the student loan debt starts to come in and your business is doing a fat zero dollars every month. But when I had this company, I never stopped trying to learn how to become successful and how to deliver ads and do cold emails and sales in general. All these lessons that were absolutely invaluable to me. And then I got my first client, which was commission based and started super small, about 500 a month or so. But the commission was growing pretty rapidly at the time. You know, started out 500, then next month 1,000, then 5,000, then 7,500. But then it all collapsed, we made a major mistake in how rapid it was growing and made bad partnerships and the company went back to zero. I did this again for another six months or so, but eventually I had to shut down shop because I was going so broke and not generating any income and I had expenses to keep up that I had to get rid of. After this, I decided it was time to try something different. So I started a janitorial company taking all my digital marketing skills with me, which I believe is probably my largest advantage in this industry of janitorial work because it's a lot of older people and not very tech savvy people. So not a lot of people can do what I can do with Facebook ads, Google ads, or cold emails. And to start the janitorial company, I just made some posts on Facebook and boom, I actually got my first client in about two weeks. I had absolutely no money at the time, but I went to Menards, bought $130 worth of cleaning supplies, which were the absolute worst cleaning supplies you could ever buy if you're in this market, in this industry, you would know. Um, but I got paid after the job for $330, so minus $130, I made about 200 bucks that day. And it felt good, it was pretty easy. It was some house, the guy just never was in, he just sat empty. Uh, but I took all that money, I reinvested it back into Google ads and Facebook ads and running cold emails. And the company grew 25% month over month ever since then. And I never realized where this company would take me. I mean, I was networking with some of the wealthiest people in the city of Kalamazoo. And yes, Kalamazoo has really wealthy people in it actually. I met the owners of companies like Upjohn, Pfizer, massive real estate companies with hundreds of commercial properties and guys who own factories with over 500 employees, like some really big wigs for the city of Kalamazoo. And meeting people like that is a serious paradigm shift in your head for what life can be like. I mean, these people are driving the nicest cars, living in the nicest houses, and eating at the best restaurants. The networking has been crazy. This is the most valuable thing I have is probably my phone, which is the contacts that I've been able to accumulate. And now this company has grown in the last uh, 
nine months and 12 months, over 40K a month and 15 employees, and we're still growing 25% a month over a month. So absolutely insane. And actually today, I just closed a deal for $5,800, and we're doing two schools this week. We're doing two of the biggest jobs we've ever done. So we're just growing like crazy. And the truth is, I feel like I'm just getting started. The lifestyle or the money hasn't really caught up to me yet. I still, I'm still paying off the debts from being so broke <laughs> in college. And that's my story for up to the day. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching. And I hope you want to follow along. And if you do, I would appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys.